The Ta Kappa Epsilon fraternity just held their annual Teak in a Box fundraiser for the homeless. Here's what some of their members had to say. TK in a box. So basically, what TK in the box is is it's basically an event that we do. We make a make uh, makeshift homeless shelter for a company called the Lazarus House. And the Lazarus House helps support homeless people. So they give them a place to sleep, a nice warm cooked meal, drinks, clothing. So um, instead of homeless people being out on the streets and they all they have is like clothes on their backs, scrapping for food, scrapping for money, scrapping for a place to stay, the Lazarus House helps these people free. They basically get a free bed, free food. And basically the things that we get in a normal household um, it's basically nice because um, instead of all of us that we're college students we have money our parents support us but not everyone has that and it's not fair to us that we have all this money and not share it with people who don't have enough money as we do so you know the normal <coughs> clubs we have here usually they table in the sack but that's not gonna get enough attention so we physically like doing this so that's the reason why we did teak in the box and basically what we did is we built it Sunday we stayed through it since Sunday to Friday which is today at 4 and we're now taking it apart um, basically we spent hours doing it outside we slept in it some nights as well and other than that it's just been fun we raised a lot of money and all it's going to do is help support the homeless community as we do every time Tika the Box has come up we've had a fantastic experience uh, it's so awesome to see the whole community rally around it it's so awesome to see just like from regular students to professors to absolute strangers come up help donate to a great cause uh, it's been it's been different every year. I mean, the the the, the template is the same. I remember freshman year, um, we had two boxes because it was such of a big chapter. Then COVID happened, so we couldn't really do that. So we it was it was sort of condensed down to sort of just like a tent, and we just stayed out there. Um, and then uh, last year was great because it was our the box back but it was us with a smaller chapter and now with a 40-man chapter it's fantastic because it's now everybody's here everybody's filling the box and it's 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 so nice to be back it's so nice to be raising money um so much so that we've actually broken our record uh and our goal of four thousand dollars i believe we're at four thousand two hundred plus dollars and we're all super proud of that so the process of building the tent is actually quite simple, but we have a great strong design. So we start off by finding pallets in the local area. A bunch of our uh, Teak brothers, they are in like construction business or landscaping. So we're, we have ac uh, accessible to, like, loads of pallets. We start with a three by three floor, then we lay a tarp down, then we staple cardboard to the floor. Then as you see, we put the perimeter walled pallets up and we also staple that with cardboard. Then in the middle of the uh, tent, we'll have a pole with two braces in order to keep the tent up. And then we'll layer all of that with tarp. It sounds simple, but once you get in there, it's actually very well insulated. It's actually kind of cozy when you have some sleeping bags in there. And I've just really enjoyed the process. I've really enjoyed how well we built uh, our teak in the box. And, it, and it's quite sturdy. It can get a little cold in there. It can get a little cold um, once in the night when it really gets down. Uh, but overall, it's not the worst place to sleep in. So each year we get a new group of guys in here. That everyone's always a bit on the fence and uh, confused. Like, okay, we're gonna build a fort and sleep outside in November. It sounds kind of crazy. But... Um, you know, once once everybody really understands the event, um, it doesn't take much convincing. It's, it's a, for a great cause. We're out here doing a good thing. Um, we're raising thousands of dollars to help those in need, and we'll do it year and year again. This is, I don't know the exact number, but this event started in 1996. So this has been going on here for uh, forever. And it just like it means a ton to us when the community is able to come together and, and see us out here trying to do something good and, and help us out because you know we wouldn't be able to raise this money without the great Merrimack community. So my you know the first experience with Teak in the Box it was actually pretty interesting because I never imagined it to be at this like big of a scale. I imagined it was like oh like two like a few cardboard boxes put together with like a tarp over it for like the weather but the fact that it was much bigger and the fact that we reached our goal and um, just really amazed me because we raised over a thousand dollars just on our first day and we gradually kept going like first two days was like almost two thousand dollars in total so you know you never really realize how much students care and how big of a difference we can make because we reached our goal of four thousand pretty 
pretty quickly actually so it was really nice seeing like people come together and just, you know something that the whole community can like get behind donating to people who need when we're obviously in this really nice campus so you know seeing people give whatever they can just a few bucks here and there and we all know it's going to a great purpose it just feels good i joined this fraternity when i was a first semester freshman so i've been seeing this event for like, it's the fourth time i've seen it and it's um it's been cool to you know see different guys take on uh setting this event up and planning it and figuring everything out and um for our group of seniors and our uh, executive board to take over and do it this year and then come out with a record-breaking year it's just a phenomenal feeling and, uh, it feels it feels good it's good to think back on the uh what the uh, older guys would think, some of our alumni. It's nice spreading awareness. You know, you're out here with good people, um, just having a good time doing something good for the community, so it feels good. Yeah, I hope we get more people who are interested in Teak and interested in Teak in the Box and keep growing what we are and growing our community as who we are, because all we are is, in the end of the day, is just a bunch of guys who want to help support our community. That's really all we are.